Today, we are diving deep into Figma's properties and exploring some powerful features that will take your design to the next level. So let's get started. First up, let's talk about Auto Layout. Auto Layout is an essential feature in Figma that forms the foundation for creating flexible and responsive designs. It's important to note that Auto Layout must be applied before utilizing the layout directions we will discuss next. Let's see how to apply Auto Layout. To apply Auto Layout, select the container or group of elements you want to arrange, then click on Auto Layout button in the Properties panel. With Auto Layout, you gain access to three layout direction options, Horizontal, Vertical, and Wrap. When you select the Horizontal Layout Direction, your elements will be arranged side by side in a row, just like this. If you choose Vertical, Figma will stack your elements vertically, creating a column-like structure. Wrap is a feature in Figma that allows elements to automatically wrap to the next line when they reach the minimum width on an element. In our example, to enable wrap, we apply few container constraints to all CADs and set a minimum width, then we change the layout direction to wrap. As we resize the parent container, the CADs wrap to the next line. To prevent the CADs from growing too wide, we can set a maximum width. Now, the CADs won't exceed the maximum width, ensuring a controlled and responsive design. Next, let's talk about padding. Padding is the space between the edge of an element and its content. It helps maintain visual balance and improves readability. Here's how you can add padding in Figma. To add padding, simply select the element and adjust the padding value in the properties panel. Figma automatically calculates and applies the padding to your design. Alignment is crucial for creating visually appealing designs. Figma allows you to align elements easily using Auto Layout. You can align elements horizontally or vertically within their container by selecting the alignment option you prefer. Figma takes care of the rest, ensuring your design looks polished and professional. Now, let's move on to another powerful feature within Auto Layout, Absolute Positioning. Absolute Positioning Auto Layout allows you to fix an element's position within its container regardless of the layout direction. This is handy when you want certain elements to stay in a specific spot no matter how the layout direction changes. To use absolute positioning, simply select the element and in the properties, click on absolute position. With this option set, you can place your element wherever you want and it will remain fixed. Lastly, let's explore applying responsive constraints to your elements. The fill container constraint is useful when you want an element to expand and fill the available space within its container. Let me show you. To apply this constraint, select the element and in the constraints panel, choose fill container. The element will automatically adjust its size to fill the container's available space ensuring a responsive and dynamic design. Sometimes you may want an element to snugly wrap around its content. That's where the Hug Contents constraint comes in handy. To apply this constraint, select the element and in the Constraints panel, choose Hug Contents. The element will shrink or expand based on its content size, resulting in a tight fit that adapts to the content within it. The space between constraint is perfect for evenly distributing elements with consistent space between them. Let's see it in action. To use this constraint, select the element you want to space evenly. And in the Properties panel, click on the vertical gap between items drop-down and select Auto. Figma will automatically distribute the elements while maintaining the desired spacing, creating a balanced and visually pleasing layout. This wraps our exploration of Figma properties and their incredible capabilities. 